Hi, welcome to the numeracy 5 a day answers for the 12th of May. So let's have a look at our questions now. So our first question says, here are the first four terms of a number sequence. So they go 8, 14, 20 and 26. And as you can see, they're increasing by 6 each time. So it's adding 6, add 6 and so on. And it says write down the next term of the number sequence. So we just need to add a number 6. So 26 plus 6 would be equal to 32. So the next term in the sequence would be 32. And the next question says 75 could not be a term in this number sequence. Explain why. Well, 75 is odd, and all these numbers are even. So the reason would be all the terms are even. Okay, our next question. Our next question we've been asked to do an addition. We've got 485 add 152. So lining them up in columns, 5 plus 2 is 7. 8 plus 5 is 13, so put the 3 down, carry the 1, and 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So the answer would be 637. And the next question is a multiplication question, so it's 17 multiplied by 6, again lining them up. 6 times 7 is 42, so put the 2 down, carry the 4. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So the answer would be 102. Okay, next question. The next question says, write down the type of triangle shown. So here we've got a triangle, and the lengths of the sides are 3.8 centimetres, 3.9 centimetres and 3.8 centimetres. So as you can see, we've got two sides of the same length. That's the two sides that are 3.8 centimetres long. So it would be an isosceles triangle. And the next question says, write down the perimeter of the triangle. So to get to perimeter, we'll add up the three sides we've been given. So it's going to be 3.9 plus 3.8 plus 3.8. And when we do that, we get, well, 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 8 is 25. So put the 5 down and carry the 2. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So the answer is 11.5. And finally, the question says, draw any lines of symmetry this triangle might have on the picture. So it's an isosceles triangle, so it will have one line of symmetry, and the line of symmetry would look something like that. 